Howdy, 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 hey y'all. Kathy at Royal Funky Junk here. Let me just make sure I am live. It says I am. There I am. All right, I'm good. I'm just pulling up on my phone. What's going on, everyone? I'm so excited to be here. I didn't think that I was going to make it today. I thought I was going to have to load a pre recorded video. Hi, Opa, because I. Um, because I was supposed to be in Baltimore, but that got canceled. So I'm here live. I'm so excited. Hi, Lori. What's going on, everyone? Hi, Terry. So I'm just going to pull you up on my phone so I can see what you guys are looking at. You guys can see everything. I've got this awesome box my mother-in-law gave to me. She is moving and she's getting rid of all her stuff. So she gave me this awesome box. It is super, super, super heavy. You guys, in the video description is the group the Memphis Bells Creators Circle, so you guys can go and watch all the presenters today. Thank you for sparkling the videos out, and how adorable was uh, the craft before me, Christy's um, gorgeous table with the boots. I loved everybody's craft so far that I've seen over the last two days. Hello, everyone. I'm going to get started. You got me till um, 2.15, so we're going to do... A little decoupage on here and then I have a really cute thing for the top of this I am going to take this off but we are going to um, keep it at the end and wait till you see what I got in store for that it's gonna be adorable I don't even know where I came up with this stuff and I, I, I can't remember that I can't believe I actually found it so I'm gonna start off by painting this whole thing with some linen paint hi Deborah hey Janet hi miss Jim what's going on everyone so this is going to be cute. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to paint this box. We're going to wax it. And it's already got like a fine line crackle finish, which I love, kind of like leather. And I loved these, so I thought that would be really cute, like a little western flare. And I already cut up my decoupage paper, but we're using Reba Rose Creations paper. Um, we're going to do these two on the fronts, kind of western glam. And then we're going to give it a little fun binds on the side with these cute little highland cow prints on the sides so and then i've got a fun twist for the knob at the top that's going to be really really cute so i'm going to get me some paint going good morning it is a gorgeous box my mother-in-law will probably be like what are you painting it for but she's went from traditional to um modern so she was getting rid of pretty much all of her stuff Hi, ah, lisa I wasn't supposed to be here. I was supposed to preload a, um, a, a video, and I did. I already pre-recorded. I made this big, huge tray thinking I wasn't going to be here, but then when my son had a change of heart, we're not doing the, uh, we didn't end up going to Baltimore. Lo and behold, you guys got stuck with me. So, hi, Brenda. Yeah, so I'm excited. So this is like an off-white. It's the linen color. I did mix the other uh, French linen in there because my linen paint was a little gloopy and uh, old. So as you can see, it's just like a nice creamy color. We're going to paint this whole box. And I'm actually going to take... Uh, do I want to leave it on? I guess I'm just going to leave the lid off for now. I'll paint the box. I think this is going to be really cute. Good morning, Pat. And we're going to go ahead and paint this. I'm not going to be too specific about this inside edge because you don't see it. Um, but I want to get everything else painted. Are you guys enjoying the event held by Ellie's Attic? Thank you, Elizabeth, for putting this all together. I know she had a little bit of... Everybody seemed to have technical difficulty yesterday. I don't know what was going on with the book. But everything today seems to be going A-OK. -okay. I hope you guys are all doing well and having a good, it feels like, I was going to say it feels like Saturday, but it is Saturday. I was so like lost all week because I thought I was going to be traveling up until like two days ago. And I took us, oh, you did. That's awesome. Well, I hope that she did you good. I hope that she cut you up good. And that you're happy. I just got my hair done not too long ago. Probably not going to go back for a while. I think this might require like two coats of paint. It's been a fabulous event. Elizabeth, you've done an amazing job. 
Okay, so we're gonna keep painting this. Did you guys watch all the creators yesterday? It also goes on tomorrow. So I hope you guys all just sit around and watch. I think once I get off of here, it's beautiful here in Ohio today. Um, I think we're gonna have like a high of 77. It's sunny. We had a little bit of cloud coverage earlier in the week, I think because of the fires in Canada. I gotta be careful over there. I don't wanna touch that. Good morning. Yay, Chris. I know, Chris Hunter. I was just thinking about that this morning. Chris, I ordered my things yesterday that we talked about. Um, just so you know. Um, but yes, I know that we've got some stuff coming for the Sparkle Retreat coming up in October. So excited for that. Me and Chris have been doing lots of shopping and chit-chatting about our retreat coming up. Down in cowboy country in Oklahoma. One of the many cowboy. I'm in Ohio. You don't get too many cowboys up here in, in Ohio. You're having a pool party. All right, so now I'm gonna do the top of the box. I'm gonna go right around here. And I love that this box has like that old leather type finish. It's very cool. And I think once we dark wax it, it's gonna come out pretty stinking cool. Just working that paint into those leather cracks in there. And it's okay if some of them, if it, if it doesn't cover it totally, because that'll just add to the texture of it. Um, up next is Deb Brown with Art and Grace. You guys make sure to check her out. Um, all day, it goes all the way through tonight, this event, and then um, tomorrow. So I'm super excited. I've been, everybody's crafts have been so adorable. It should give you guys lots of inspiration especially with all the new Totally Dazzled Bling that is out. The Boots and Bling, this is perfect. Oh, Penny, Cindy, my mother-in-law gave me this box. She's moving and she was getting rid of all of her stuff. She's going from traditional to uh, modern, very contemporary. So anything that had like a traditional twist, a traditional vibe to it, she up and let it go. I'm going to dry this now. No, probably going to do another coat. It's already crackled, Kathy. Yeah. Hey, Carol. Welcome. All right. So this is just regular chalk paint. This will dry fairly quickly. over here. I'm just drawing the lid. So the one that I did pre-record this big cowboy tray, I am going to turn, I turn that into a short video that I will post next week for you so you guys can see how I did it. Um, I finished filming it like an hour before Jack um, changed his mind. Go figure. I'm super excited. I'm, I'm so glad I got to be here. All right, so that's dry. We are going to put one more coat on. The cowboy picture came out so good. It's huge, guys, too. It is a huge, huge tray. Okay, yeah, so two coats is going to be perfect. And then we're going to go over it with some dark wax. Of course, my highlights are going to be, you know it, gold. Um, this is going on perfectly. I love this color. I didn't want to do white because the decoupage paper has a bit more of a soft cream to it. Yeah, two coats is perfect. It is not a transfer. I am going to decoupage. Oh, that, the big cowboy print behind me, that is a transfer, yes. One of my fabulous sparkle chicks sent it to me. Um, and perfect, 
perfect timing because I whipped up some cute cowboy crafts the last few days. And then after I did that, I was like, oh, now what am I going to make? So I had to set my brain a working to figure out what I was going to do today now that I'm live with y'all. All right. Two coats is going on fabulously. Is your hair cut a long shag? Yes, it's just long layers. I lost a lot of my hair like three years ago. Um, no, four years ago when I got married, believe it or not. I don't know what. Stress, maybe. I don't know. Um, but a lot of my hair started to fall out. Meno perimenopause. It was right when I was going into like perimenopause. Yay for us. Um, so I don't know if that had something to do with it. So it's just like gradually been growing out. It's been a struggle. So it's finally on the road to recovery. I stopped bleaching my hair. That has helped tremendously. I loved Beth's cowboy boots for house. That was adorable too. And I loved the table that was, I loved everybody's craft so far. Everybody has been so like unique and um, diverse. It's been fabulous. All right. Yeah. So two coats is going to do it. All right. So we got that done. Let's do one more coat on the lid. Hi, Teresa. Good morning, guys. We're going to go up here. And just give it, now that's a little bit heavier of a crackle up here. There is no, well, there's a little crackle on the sides of the box, but it's mainly crackled up here on the lid. So just giving this two coats. Trying to get that all covered. See how pretty that looks? Like I said, it's gonna, some of those crackles are gonna come in. Um, that's my son calling me. Um, you know, I swear to God, my kids don't listen when I tell them I'm in an event. Like, like, hello? He's probably gonna call me next. Like, don't they know I'm in a timed event? I don't, I, I can't mess around, y'all. <sighs> How do I get, I use caramel. She uses the lightest color caramel that does not, uh, that just deposits. And then she put in some dark brown. And then any other like lighter blonde that you see in my hair is probably left over. But yeah, all of this up here, this blonde, that's just caramel. And um, then some dark highlights. Low lights, I guess, not highlights, no bleach. Okay. I am going to stack this paint away. Um, let me just text my kid. On a live. Sam is taking you. He's in his, his room. Okay. Jeez Louise. I feel like all I do is micromanage my children's lives, right? Okay, so we're going to dry this. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to... I'm not going to wax it yet because I want my decoupage to stick. So we're going to put the decoupage on and then we're going to wax it. Hi, Diane. Hey, Linda. I will go back and watch the replay, y'all, I promise. You know, it's a little it's a little hard when you're on a timed event because you want to make sure I want to make sure I get all of this done. Let's give that a little quick dry there. What's going to make this really pop is what I'm doing to the top. You guys are doing so cute. I was rummaging, rummaging this morning through my like Western, um, through my Western uh, bucket, and I found something. It's gonna work. It's gonna be so cute. Thank you, Elizabeth, for the stars. Okay, so we got this all painted. Now I'm gonna take my decoupage paper. I'm gonna take these two, which are the front. It doesn't matter. I just picked out. This is a Reba Rose paper. I'm gonna take some Posh Chalk Infuser. That is like my new favorite decoupage medium. I'm going to take a brush like this, and I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to brush on the pigment infuser or your, you know, decoupage medium of choice. Oh, hold on. 
maybe you shouldn't go. You guys are just getting a, a... Then you need to stay home and rest, Jackie. He has been going, 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 going with football. Football is 6 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon. He's supposed to go watch the baseball team um, play. But I said, if you don't feel good, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, Jack. It's not mandatory. Sorry, y'all. You're just getting a little, you know, little, a little look inside my life here. Now, I did pre-cut this, and it almost fits perfectly. I'm just going to go right to the front. And then if I have to, I probably have to go a little bit down here I cut it a little long which is fine because I'm just gonna blend it right over that anyway and just kind of brush right over those little whatever you want to call those little things and then press it out take some Motrin try Motrin sorry guys <laughs> this is what we do my kids don't stop it don't matter Okay, so once you get all that plastered on there, you're just going to take your decoupage medium and you're going to give it a coat over it, okay, because you want to protect your paper. And you want to make sure that's all sealed down onto your piece, whatever it is that you're decoupaging. And I'm going to make sure I get right there around the sides. And then, now I did put a coat, I even put like the infuser on like the legs and everything that we're going to wax, but look at how cute that looks already. See how we mat matched that paint perfectly. Um, okay, so now I'm going to grab my other side here. Oh, my kids are my life, y'all, so is my husband. It's just how, it, you know, it's just how that cookie crumbles, like... My kids, like, yes, they know what I'm doing for a living, but at the same time, it's like they know that if they need me, they need me. I think Jack's just, like, exhausted. He doesn't feel good. He should stay home. But it's not like I can really get into that with him right now. And then the same thing for this side. I'm just going to kind of center it up, press that down. Oh, I love how this is looking. Sometimes like I have an idea and then I don't know how it's going to look, but this is looking really cute. And it's same thing, going to take that infuser and I'm going to go over the whole pick and seal all that paper down. I can't wait to show you guys the end. <laughs> it's going to be so stinking adorable. I'm not even going to show you what it is that I found to add on to this. This is going to be like a rip. Rip. Rips, bo Rips box. We'll just call this Rips box. Or this is actually like a Beth Dutton box. But it's going to have a little rip on there too. So there's the other side. Look at how pretty. So I had to trim a little bit up their nose, but I wanted to get the majority of it in there. Um, now the sides, I'm going to do the little Highland cows. I think are really, really cute. And again, and I'm sorry you guys can't see, I am going over everything with that. So when we put our dark wax on here, our dark wax is not going to look different. Sometimes your dark wax will look different depending on if you've sealed it or not. So again, I'm just going to line this up. Right like so. Press that down. And then... Same thing as before. Yes, I know you guys understand. That's why it's like my kids are like a part of my page. They're on my lives. You know, you hear them in the background. Sometimes they're arguing. Sometimes they're not. <laughs> All right, so just press out any bubbles. This is so cute. So there's that side. Seriously, y'all, I can't stand it. It's so cute. I love these Highland cows. You're going to buy you a Highland cow. They're so cute. These are Reba Rose's Highland cows. So cute. I think, like, I'm good on time. I'm like, 
feel like I'm rushing. Like I feel like I'm stressed or something. Oh my good. <sighs> okay, take a deep breath. I was like stressing out. Um, the box came from my mother-in-law. She gave it to me. Um, she, they're moving. They just bought a new home and it's a very modern home and her home now is traditional. So she just went and got new stuff and she's kind of flipped a switch. And so now she's doing all like, um, modern instead of like traditional. So she was getting rid of anything with like a traditional flair. So, you know me, I was like, I'll take that. I went over there last week to help her with an estate sale. So she gave me a bunch of stuff. And this has been sitting on the floor of my craft room for like a week. And here we are putting it to good use finally. It's rice paper, yes. The paper is from Reba Rose, which you can find that in my link tree. Um, she has some really cute papers. And I was just digging through my pile trying to find ones that look like they would match. And I think these look pretty cute. Okay. Now that we got that all on there, I'm going to dry it. We're not going to do any decoupage to the top. Hi, Dina. Yes, the medium is Posh Chalk Pigment Infuser from Would You Bend. It's like my favorite. It's so good. So make sure this is nice and dry. And then we're going to dark wax it. Put some antiquing wax on there. You just want to make sure this is all nice and dry beforehand. I don't know if we're going to dark wax over the graphics, but definitely on the sides, wherever that paint around the picture. Okay, so let me pick it up and I'll show you guys, look at you guys a little twirl. So there's one side, two sides, three side, four side. And when we put the lid on it, it's going to look like even better, but wait till you see what I got planned for the top. Look at how pretty that is already. Very Beth Dutton-y. Uh, I might have to keep this one. I don't know if it'll go with in my house. So now I'm going to grab my, um, I use bare wax from the Home Depot. It's dark and clear. You guys, my dark wax is hit. That's it. That's empty. Finally, I have to break open a new one. Brand new jar of dark wax. Every time I go to the Home Depot, I grab these. If you can find them, it's amazing. And then I'm, I got a little bit left of the clear. So I'm gonna go in with a, I use just a waxing brush like this. Oh yes, it's so cute. So now I'm gonna go in. What I do is I take a little bit of clear, okay? Dip in with, to a little bit of dark and I just kind of smush them together, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right around the edges where we painted and get the feet and just kind of frame out the image, okay? Just like that. Don't think I want to dark wax the image itself. I just want to kind of dirty up wherever the paint is still showing but let's see maybe I'll run some you know what I'm gonna dark wax the whole damn thing did I say that out loud the whole darn thing well, let's just do it let's just go for it yes so see the difference that dark wax does compared to this side so see we're just kind of muddying it up a little bit a little bit of dark and I mix it with a little bit of clear so we're just gonna throw that on. And then after you put it on, you wanna wipe it off, okay? Wipe it off and it will just stick. Okay, so see how it just warms it up just a tad? Okay. 
and then just put it on and wipe it off. The whole bam thing, the whole bam thing. Sometimes I get excited. Yes, I love this. Now, before we uh, do the waxing to the top, I'm going to have to cover it with a, um, a coat of that pigment infuser because if I try to go over it after without it being sealed, it's going to be a lot darker and I want this to match. So you want to make sure you do the same process um, on the top and the bottom. See how that just warms it up? If we put the top on, you're going to see the difference even more so then. See how we just kind of warmed it up? But before we do that, put that to the side, we need to get our pigment infuser back and I need to give it a quick coat. Uh, Cindy, you want to buy this from me? You like it? We need to go ahead and put a coat of infuser on this so the wax reacts the same as it did to the bottom. Because if we just put wax on here and it doesn't have this seal on it, it's going to soak into that paint and it's going to be a lot darker. Is my brother in the house, Justin Kraus? What's up, brother? You got the chicks o'clock and whenever... Justin comes in. I believe he is closing the event out tonight. So we're going to dry this real quick. It does, the wax definitely warms it up. Oh, Meg, happy 12th birthday to your grandson. So now I'm just going to dry that infuser. You are on super battery power mode today. I got so much stuff done yesterday. I thought I was going to be gone all weekend. I was up. I had to take my in-laws to the airport at 8, 8 o'clock in the morning. I had to pick them up at 8. I got back here like at 11, and I got so much stuff done yesterday. that's dry and now we can start oops now we can start doing the wax to um, this so a little bit of dark a little bit of clear it's the antique dark and clear from bear you always think like when you're in an event it's like 45 minutes and then you're like oh you just don't ever want to like run out of time, you know? So I did do a little bit of prep. I cut my decoupage paper ahead of time. And we are gonna be using some gold rub and buff on here, so you wanna make sure that your wax is done before any of this. Because your wax, clear wax, acts like an eraser. It will remove liquid gold, it will remove um, rub and buff. But when I'm all said and done, and this is all done, I am going to, um, I am going to uh, clear coat it with a triple thick Dura Clear Mix, because I want it to be shiny. Beth Dunn puts her cigarettes in this box, right? Uh, okay. So as you can see, that really warmed that up beautifully. So let me bring back the box. Look at how pretty. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some <sighs> antique gold rub and buff, okay? I'm gonna take the lid off. And I want to do is all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dab of this down here on my paper and I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to, you guessed it, pop some gold onto each one of these little, I don't know what you want to call these things, rivets. It kind of looks like, um, you know, a rivet. So that's just the antique gold rub and buff and you can see See how we're just bringing out those rivets so they stand out just a little bit more? And that's why I'm just going to use my finger because you can just plop it on there. And 
And remember, if you get some gold where you don't want it to be, clear wax. Nail heads, yes, it's like a nail head trim, which to me, nail head, you know, is very country western. I have a fabulous western chair in my living room. Cars. Why is he back with Jack? He was supposed to take Jack. Oh boy. What happened? He's not feeling the greatest. He's not going? No, he said he didn't know I was going, so he's like, I'll just drive it in. Oh. Guys, my life is like one crazy chaos. Um, so Jack's not taking the bus now. I guess Sam's going. So their school made playoffs, state playoffs for baseball. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to go see what's up with my kid when I get off of here. If he's not feeling good. I don't really want him. He should be staying home. They don't know how to stay home and just relax. You know what I mean? I swear. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to the lid, too. You're in love with my chair. Oh, the cowboy chair. I was going to say, not the chair I'm in, because this chair absolutely stinks. I hate this chair. It's so uncomfortable. Well, at least he'll be driving with Sam and... Uh, see how pretty that looks? And the lid, the hat, or the... Um, the knob on the top, that is also gold. So I decided to keep that gold. Aw, thank you, Jenny. You guys watch everybody. Everybody's done such an amazing job. Okay. So we're almost done with the rub and buff. Okay. We are doing just fine. Happy Fantastic. Yes, he, you know Justin's going to do something amazing. All right, so here's the box. We got all those little rivets, nail heads, whatever you want to call them, painted gold. Now what I want to do, because I'm going to add, I'll probably spend a couple hours up here blinging it out, but I want to take my triple thick DuraClear mix, okay? And I want to give the entire thing um, a coat of this triple thick DuraClear mix. How did you think of Western Peace? Uh, I, I originally, I've had this for about a week, and I originally thought of this as a Western piece because um, of these rivets, believe it or not. And I was like, and then I was kind of scourging today, like, okay, how am I going to make this work? So I picked out some paper, and then I was, I have like a bucket full of Western stuff, and I found something, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I can make this work. And it's going to be adorable. It's going to be a little wonky, a little wacky, a little wacky, but cute. So this is just, it's three parts triple thick to two parts DuraClear. And uh, you can find triple thick DuraClear at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. And it's just a sealer, but it's, it's going to give it a shiny seal. You can use this over wax. As you see, I'm, it'll hold in all that wax. You can put this mixture over uh, liquid gold and or, um, um, lip gold rub and buff. It, you know, if, if this was Mod Podge going on top of here, like a shiny Mod Podge, it would take that liquid gold right off or the, um, the rub and buff right off. You can use this mixture on just about anything. It's water-based, so therefore it doesn't take off your finishing gold. What are you watching? On TV. Oh, are you talking to me? I'll be watching the rest of the presenters while I work up here today. I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I got some stuff. I don't know what that black mark is, but I'm just going to leave it. It almost looks like handwriting, which is really weird. Unless that's just the crackle on it. So see, we'll let that dry while I go on to the top. You want to do the same thing? Yeah, so it's two parts, three parts triple thick. Just remember three triple, three parts triple thick, and then I use two parts DuraClear. Some people only use one part DuraClear, and that's fine too. So 
So this is just going to give it like a nice shine to it. I did not see 75%. I did see, I, I did, I actually did. I bought, uh, I bought, actually bought something for like 11 bucks to go in my living room. It's like a Americana thing because we have a really big 4th of July party every year uh, coming up on July 1st. So I bought a really cool thing. All right, so as you can see, see how nice and shiny that is? That's just going to protect it. And you want to put that on before you add your bling, okay? All right. I'm gonna dry this. And, and that triple thick dirt here mix, it like dries super fast. Hey D. Uh Kent, that's where Gianna goes to school. My son's girlfriend um, goes there. It's not too far for me. I think that's where my kids are headed today. This is so cute. Uh, Cindy, if you want to watch the rest of the crafters, this is a Rip Roaring Western event. You can go in the video description of this video. It is the Memphis, Memphis Bells Creator Circle, where all the creators uh, are streamed into that group. So you never have to go searching. You could just stay right in that group. Yep, Memphis Bells Creator Circle. All you have to do is go right there. Okay, I think this is dry. Yep. Okay. This is dry for the most part. Yes. All right, guys, here comes the fun part. Ready? Okay. So we have our box. Okay. I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see it. Thank you, Dee Dee, for the stars. Look at how cute. Okay, I'm going to flip this. And let me tell you, this box is super heavy. I'm not kidding. It is super, super heavy. Okay. So we did that. See how great that blended? And that's why I used the rice paper and I water cut it. I didn't have a, um, I didn't use scissors. So you get like a nice tapered edge. Okay. So we're going to get the, uh, I do not like it when my kids are sick, y'all are not feeling good. So here is the lid. I keep calling it a lid. Here is the topper that came with this box. Okay. I was originally going to get rid of it and put something else, but watch y'all. Okay. I got 10 minutes, right? What time is it? 2.07. Oh, we're good. Okay. We got like seven minutes left. So here's the top. Pretty, right? The gold is perfect, matches this. Um, and then I was digging through my cowboy western stash. Um, and look what I found. You ready? We're going to put a cowboy hat on him. Look at how perfectly it matches. See, guys, when you see something, I probably had this for, I think somebody sent me this. I don't even know where it came from, but that's just the cool stuff that you can put. Like, I don't throw anything away. Like, you got to hold it. Um, is there a name on the bottom of the box? I don't know, Debbie. Let me look. It's very heavy. Yes. Sedlak Interiors from Solon, Ohio. That's like a furniture, a very expensive furniture store. My in-law shop. Okay. So as you can see, we're going to put this little hat on there. I, hey, I'm giving him Rip. Rip is going to go on top. Cowboy Rip is going on top. I am going to use some B7000 glues. Glues. B7000 glue. And you just kind of like eyeball it. I'm just going to jam some glue here. I want B7000 for like the permanent hold and then I'm going to uh, use a little bit of hot glue right now for that immediate bond. Okay. My drippy, drippy glue gun. And we're just going to put this on just like that. And we made ourselves a little rip. Okay. Seriously, I can't make this stuff up. It's like it was meant. This, I didn't paint this. I did nothing. 
But, you know, this is Beth Dutton's cigar box, cigarette box, and we got little Rip on top. Okay, Rip is on the box. I, I saw the hat and I was like, oh, I wonder if that will fit on that knob. And I bring it over and like literally, I was going to like take the ball off and then just set it a little off on this little lower part. And then I was like, that's cute, like a little hat topper. But then when I put the, the, the head back on, I was like, man, it looks like a cowboy head, right? Um... So I was like, this is going to be flipping. I don't want to lift it up by the hat yet because I get, you got to let that B7000 take over. Um, and that'll create that permanent bond. Okay, so now, um, what time we got? 210. Oh, we're perfect. Um, so now I kind of like this is I guess it doesn't matter front or back but I do have um, a little star from the totally dazzled bling and boots um, collection and I just want to so it's gonna go to the top and this one down here I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue and we are going to just push that right there so you know it's rip it's like He's the sheriff in town. Setting the bar. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Um, so yeah, we gave him a little star in his hat because he's cute. And then I've got two horseshoes from the Royal Funky Junk Totally Dazzled um, Bling Pack that came out last year. It was a limited edition. And I was going to throw those up at the top, kind of like off-centered of one another. Um, so I'm just going to use a little, did I, yeah, um, just a little bit of hot glue. And then of course I'll probably, what I'll probably end up doing is putting a lot of rhinestones from the ultimate rhinestone applicator kit, like all over here, you know, um, zhuzh it up a little bit. Yeah, I'll have to send a picture of this to my mother-in-law because she won't she won't believe it. So I'm gonna kind of put this one down there in this corner, kind of like offset of one another. And then, like I said, and I think here, like on all of these, this is gonna get a bunch of um, we're gonna do a bunch of rhinestones in here. Oh, the boots and bling, it's so beautiful. So now one more thing that I wanted to add to 12, right on time. I'm going to have to heat this up. Okay, so cute. I'll add some rhinestones right in here, inside here. Um, I don't know, Vicki. I don't, this is box is super heavy. It would probably be really expensive to ship. So then I found this piece of twine, okay? It's like jute, but he's got to have a little scarf or something around his neck, so... I am just going to a little dab of glue right back here to attach it because he's got to have like a little star, you know? Oh, this glue gun of mine is terrible. And I'm going to throw that in there. And then I'll probably get like a little, a little, oh geez, the glue is ridiculous. I'll probably do like a little star or something here and I might make this a little bit shorter. But I wanted him to have something, and I'll have to play around with how that little twine looks up there. I'll probably cut it, but he had to have something around his neck, maybe frayed a little bit. Um, a bow tie. Um, I don't know if I want to do a bow tie, but I was thinking about something small, you know, stuffed in there. Maybe like a piece of, um, do you guys think I should cut it? Like a lasso, like almost. He needed something around his neck to make it look like a person. Isn't it so cute? So I'll play around with the ribbon. I'm thinking maybe like a little boot or a little, some kind of pin right there, some totally dazzling, maybe a little star or something, leather tassel, something. I got to play around with it. 
um, maybe even fray these out a little bit. I'm not quite sure how I want to do that yet, but he kind of looks like a sheriff. It's going to get a lot of bling. Um, as you can see, there it is. There's our rip and, and there's our top of the box with the horseshoe all the way around. You guys go check out Art and Grace. She's up next. And I will see you guys in the comments for the rest of the day and tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed my craft and stay inspired and sparkly, my friends. Bye, everyone.